the symptoms of hypothalamus problems? Let's talk about it. There are a lot of symptoms in hypothalamus problems. I'm going to talk about the four most common symptoms of hypothalamus issues. Number one is temperature regulation. If you're unable to regulate your body temperature, you're hot all the time, cold all the time, hot and cold, you get hot flashes, night sweats, or you're sweating profusely for no reason. Those are all clear symptoms of dysfunction of your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus controls your body temperature, so when it's dysfunctional, you'll have temperature swings. Number two are mood swings. Your hypothalamus is the gateway to the neurotransmitters that control your moods and your emotions. It is well known that patients with severe depression or bipolar disease have a smaller than normal hypothalamus. Chronic irritability, anxiety, panic attacks, depression, lack of motivation can all be symptoms of hypothalamic dysfunction. That's because your hypothalamus controls the neurotransmitters that control your moods, including serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and oxytocin. And number three, is fatigue and insomnia. Your hypothalamus controls your metabolism, directly controlling cellular energy production. And your hypothalamus regulates both the thyroid and adrenal function, both of which affects energy. Usually the root of hormonal fatigue lies in the hypothalamus. Fatigue can be caused by insomnia as well, and your hypothalamus controls your day-night cycles. Your ability to get into a deep sleep is initiated by the hypothalamus stimulating your pineal gland to produce melatonin, and then your hypothalamus produces prolactin. Prolactin is a nocturnal hormone that is unique as a sleep factor. It promotes rapid eye movement sleep. If your hypothalamus is damaged, you may have issues falling asleep and staying asleep, resulting in fatigue during the day. And number four is issues with thirst and hunger. Your hypothalamus controls your thirst, particularly through a hormone called vasopressin. Vasopressin is also known as antidiuretic hormone. When vasopressin is high and your kidneys do not produce as much urine, so your blood volume is maintained and your tissues stay hydrated. If vasopressin is too low, you're going to be incredibly thirsty. You can't drink enough and you're going to urinate out everything you drink. If your hypothalamus is damaged and you cannot produce enough vasopressin, then it's called diabetes insipidus. Your hypothalamus also controls your hunger by monitoring ghrelin, leptin, and adiponectin. Those are important hormones that control hunger and satiety. There's a genetic condition called Prader-Willi syndrome that creates a dysfunctional hypothalamus leading to uncontrollable eating and morbid obesity. Any health issues that are controlled by hormones can be a sign of hypothalamic damage. While we can really only measure the stimulating hormones produced by the pituitary gland and the resultant hormones of the gonads, the thyroid, and the adrenals, it's the hypothalamus that receives the feedback from those hormones that your endocrine glands produce that then stimulates the pituitary gland to produce stimulating hormones. So anytime you have a deficiency or hyperproduction of any of your hormones, growth hormone, prolactin, sex hormones, cortisol, DHEA, thyroid hormones, or issues with glucose metabolism like insulin resistance, your hypothalamus is probably at the root of your hormone issues. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever about symptoms of hypothalamus dysfunction, why don't you join us in our hormone reboot training? You get free access to our hormone support group. It's hard to tell when you have hypothalamus problems, especially since a lot of times your hypothalamus is ignored by healthcare providers. You might be given medications or synthetic hormones to treat symptoms without really dealing with the root cause. Supporting your hypothalamus nutraceutically can make a big difference in optimizing its function and getting your life back. I'll see you in the next video.